Anxiety at a healthy level is actually a perfectly normal, healthy and evolutionarily beneficial human emotion that everybody experiences at some point due to anything from public speaking to starting a new job to being attacked by a hippo. The roots of anxiety stem back to a time in our ancestral history when fear was almost always due to something physically life-threatening like a wild animal or members of a rival tribe preparing to attack. Anxiety was a great way for our minds to tell our bodies to ready up to face whatever threat might be coming our way. Of course, the emotion was so genetically successful that we still experience it today, despite not having to deal with nearly as many physical threats as our ancestors. So what's actually going on in our heads? Well, anxiety begins in a part of the brain called the limbic system, which is a complex system of nerves that specialises in emotions like fear and pleasure, as well as drives such as hunger and libido. When an exterior threat is detected by the senses, a message is sent to a part of the limbic system called the hypothalamus, which is about the size of an almond and just below the thalamus. This creates a nervous signal which travels down to your adrenal glands, where the adrenal medulla releases a hormone called epinephrine into the body, or as it's more commonly known, adrenaline. Your circulatory system is then responsible for causing this adrenaline to flow throughout the body, which triggers a whole bunch of different effects depending on which specific proteins it bonds to. For example, when epinephrine reaches the liver, it causes glucose, the single most important sugar in human metabolism, to be produced in order to supply the body with more energy so that it can sufficiently respond to whatever threat set off the reaction in the first place. 